While schools remain disrupted and roads barricaded with stones due to a community protest at Sikororo in Zanin in Limpopo. Community members are demanding that a shopping mall be constructed in the area. They are also protesting against the Municipal Demarcation Board's proposal to incorporate the local Maruleng municipality into Zanin. Grade 12 learners at Ramatau High School in Metz Village say the protest is negatively affecting their studies. Our reporter Mike Marenga is following that story and he joins us on the line from Zanin. Mike, a very good afternoon to you. What is the latest in Sikoror? Uh, good afternoon. The latest is that uh, roads remain closed. They are blockaded. Uh, there are stones and burning tires. Uh, police are, are here in their numbers trying to disperse the crowd, but it looks like they are not winning because this uh, uh, crowd is... is, is uh, there, there are so many people. We, we are talking of about 28 uh, villages who are in protest, but let me indicate that their demands have changed a little bit. The, the, the demand for the construction of a mall it has been muted for now. They want the mayor and his team to vacate the office. They accuse them of mal uh, maladministration mm -hmm. and corruption. But uh, schools remain closed, and it is a concern for learners as they are about to start with their preliminary examinations. And final metric examinations is also expected to start in the next two months. Now, Mike, has there been any official response to the demands by, by the government or the related authorities at this stage? Look, their, their current demand is directed to the African National Congress, the ANC, mm -hmm. because they believe, uh, the, 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 the protest is spearheaded by Sanko. They believe that the ANC has got the responsibility to recall the mayor and his uh, management. But mm -hmm. up to this stage, uh, they have not received any joy from, um, from the mayor or, or from the ANC. They have submitted a memorandum a week ago, and up to date, uh, it has not been responded to. Hence, they took to the streets. ANC is very quiet. We also tried from our side as the SA SABC to get the local ANC to respond, but their phone rang unanswered. Mike, are these people aware that government doesn't necessarily construct malls? It looks like they are aware, but they feel uh, that they have been sidelined for too long. There's no development in their in their area. They have tried their level best to get attention from uh, whoever is responsible to can try and attract investors or anyone who can do that. But it looks like the people who are responsible to disseminate that information, they are not doing that. They are dilly darling. They went to accept the memorandum, mm. but they have not responded back to the residents. But, Mike, now what about the pupils that are missing school? Any word from the Department of Education on that? The Department of Education has not said anything because mm. it looks like teachers are willing to go and teach at, at various schools at Skororo, but the problem is the roads are blockaded. It is only the local teachers who are within the villages who can um, go to the schools to try and, and assist learners who are supposed to start writing next week, but they can only do so much. It, it, it is worrisome. We will be talking to the Department of Education to check if they've got a new plan in place to try and assist the learners who are affected by the protest. Mike, before I let you go, why don't the residents want to be incorporated into this municipality? What are their reasons? Uh, look, they said they, they, uh, there's not been any communication. They only heard it from uh, the demarcation board that mm. there is a, a process in place to uh, integrate their municipality. So the challenge now is if, 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 if there is no communication, if they are not told, there are no public hearings about it, uh, it looks like they are, are, not, are not catered for, they are not considered. So they need someone to come down to their level and talk to them about these developments. That's Mike Maringa reporting from Limpopo.